The wait may be long but it will eventually be worth it. Hopefully this year we will finally see Daniel Craig return for his final outing as James Bond in the 25th entry in the series, No Time to Die. The last time we saw Bond he was driving off into retirement from MI6 with Madeline Swan, Lisa Adu, at the end of Spectre. However, in the new outing No Time to Die he is soon forced to come out of retirement to take on a deadly. However, when exactly can we expect the new Bond film to be released in cinemas? Here is what you need to know about Bond 25 aka Note Bond 25 release date No Time to Die is due in UK cinemas on October 8, 2021. The film was originally due for release in November 2019, but due to changes in director the film was pushed back by four months to February 14, 2020 before another delay until April 2. Another delay came into place due to the coronavirus, meaning the film will be released seven months. However, it delayed until 2021 once more due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It was then delayed a fourth time due to the ongoing pandemic, being pushed back until October. Bond 25 trailer The full trailer has now been released and can be found at the top of the article. We have so many questions now. Bond 25 song The title song for the film, also named No Time to Die, has been released by 18-year-old bad guy singer Billy Isla. The track was written by Billy and her older brother and producer, Famous. Johnny Marr also provided the guitar playing on the track. The film will be scored by legendary composer Hans Zimmer. Bond 25 director Kerry Joji Fukunaga will direct No Time to Die, replacing previously announced Helmut Boyle was removed from the project after creative differences with producer Barbara Broccoli and star Daniel Craig. It is unknown what the difference was, but rumors range from differences over plot, to casting and thematic content. One rumor has been that Boyle wanted to kill off Daniel Craig's Bond at the end of the film. Fukunaga is best known for his films Beasts of No Nation and Jane Eyre, along with his television work on the first season of True Detective and Netflix drama Maniac. Bond 25 cast Daniel Craig as James Bond Craig returns for his fifth and final outing as Bond, who is now retired and living alone in Jamaica, five years after defeating Blofeld during the event. No Time to Die will see Bond thrown back into trying to save the world from a dangerous new threat and reunite with old allies, old foes, and an old flame. Rami Malek is soft in Bohemian Rhapsody star and Oscar winner Rami Malek portrays Bond villain. So he is a dangerous new adversary who is set to get under Bond's skin, but some fans are convinced that he is actually a classic Bond villain. Safin is also a face from the past for Bond's old flame, Madeline. Leia said Madeline Swan the leading lady from Spectre will return for the sequel film. Bond was last seen driving off in his Aston Martin DB5 with her after rescuing her from Earth's stopper globe. Despite having found happiness, it seems Bond was betrayed by Madeline as they both come under attack. Having split, they are reunited as Madeline's past returns to haunt her and James in the form of Will They Find Love Again? Lash on Lynch's Nomi Captain Marvel star Lynch will play a character named Nomi in the Nomi works for MI6 and helps Bond on his mission having apparently taken up his code name of 007 since his retire. However, Nomi is a very modern woman with her own skill set and it seems that she won't get along with Bond straight away. Ben Wishaw as Q the Gadget Man will be back to help 007 in another film. Q is seen in the trailer being reunited with Bond and proves to be a staunch ally for this as if Money Penny Bond's ally and the secretary for MI6 head, and Money Penny jokingly remarks about the frosty relationship between Bond and new OO agent Jeffrey Wright as Felix Leiter Bond's old CIA ally Felix is also making a comeback after sitting out from Skyfall and only being mentioned in Spect. Felix tracks down Bond in Jamaica and asks him to come out of retirement to help him retrieve a kidnapped scientist. Christoph Waltz is Ernst Stopper Blofeld the Spectre Chief is set to return for the new film, being seen in the trailer having an unsettling reunion with former foster brother. As the footage suggests, Blofeld will play a role akin to Hannibal Lecter in The Silence of the Lamb. Expect some mind games as Blofeld hopes to manipulate events from his height. Rafe finds as M. The Oscar nominee will be back as the steely head of MI6 after helping defeat Spectre in the lab. He now has a new OO agent at his disposal in the form of Nomi but will be reunited with Bond once again as they face a new seemingly unsporey Kinnear as built Anna Wren's chief of staff will return for another adventure. He is seen taking Bond to Blofeld's cell in the trailer. Anna de Armas's Paloma Daniel Craig's Knives Out co-star portrays the rather capable blow. Armed and dangerous, femme fatale Paloma is a CIA agent and ally for Bond in Cuba as he looks to retrieve the kidnapped scientist for Felix. David Densick as Valdo Obrichet the girl with a dragon tattoo star portrays the scientist whose disappearance is investigated by Bond and the CIA, which leads Bond, Nomi, and Paloma to try and retrieve him in Cuba. Donnie Ben Salah as Primo Primo is a soldier and adversary that Bond encounters first in Montero, Italy. Billy Magnus and his Logan Ash the Game Night.
Night Star portrays Felix CIA colleague Bogner. Bond 25 plot The official plot synopsis is that Bond is brought out of retirement in Jamaica by old friend Felix Leiter to recover scientist Valdo Obruchev from producer Barbara Broccoli spoke about the film's plot, saying, Well, Bond is not on active service when we start the film. He is enjoying himself in Jamaica. She said they considered Jamaica to be Bond's spiritual home and added, We start his journey. We've got quite a ride in store for Mr. Bond. However, when Felix Leiter requests Bond's help in tracking down a missing scientist, Bond springs back into action and returns to the fold of MI6 and has a reunion with both Blofeld and estranged lover Madeline, whose past seems very key to the plot. Will Bond ever be able to get past the death of Vesper Lind and find happiness with Madeline? Bond 25, no time to die locations include Italy, Jamaica, Norway, London, and porn scribe Scott C. Burns apparently did work on the script for Fukunaga. Michael Wilson also confirmed